Welcome to the Mary. Please consider subscribing. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. Aglonima, also known as Chinese Evergreen, is a highly decorative plant with several interesting varieties. It is one of the most popular houseplants and the color variations from dark green to silver and some with hints of red add to your home's decor. Aglonimas are slow-growing, attractive, and make excellent foliage plants. They have large, narrow, and glossy oval leaves on short stems. Best of all, it does not like full sun, so it is perfect for indoors, especially if window light is a commodity in your home. How to grow aglonima plants? There seems to be a little controversy over whether this plant is easy or difficult to grow. In general, it is easy if you follow one simple rule. The lighter the variation, the more light it needs. Once you understand how that applies to your aglonima, you should have no problems. The number one rule to remember for aglonima care is to keep it warm and moist. If you do, you will be rewarded with a long-lasting, stable houseplant that will not outgrow its path anytime soon. It really is a great choice if you struggle with houseplant but want some color foliage around the house. About light, the darker green varieties of aglonima can grow in new shade, while the variegated varieties require brighter light. Do not expose any variety of aglonima to direct sunlight. About soil, a well-drained, lightly acidic potting soil is perfect for aglonimas. About watering, water thoroughly in the summer and miss the plant often to raise the humidity. During the winter, reduce watering but do not let the plant dry out completely. Temperature and humidity. These plants do not like cold drops or temperatures below 65 degrees. Be sure to keep it away from drafty windows or vents and the warmer the spot you can find, the better. Due to its high humidity requirements, some growers consider aglonima to be a greenhouse plant. It will do best in the warm, humid, and bright environment of a greenhouse, but it can be successfully grown indoors by coming as close as possible to these conditions. Fertilizers feed your aglonema with slow-release pellets or liquid fertilizers during the growing season. Patting and repatting. Aglonimas are slow-growing and will only need repatting every 2 to 3 years. They are also generally low-growing plants, so their trunks will be rebuilt very gradually. Propagating aglonimas. Aglonimas are not typically propagated by home growers. You can however divide the plants during repotting. Small shoots can also be potted as individual plants. Toxicity of aglonimas. Beware of the fruit of the peace food, which is toxic. It is best to avoid this variety if you have children or pets who may be curious about its tiny red fruits. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification.